In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a Merkle tree in Solidity. First thing you want to do is download this GitHub repo and save it somewhere on your desktop. Now that we have that, let's open this up in VS Code. Check out my previous video where I implemented this in JavaScript. Open up Remix and create a new file here. Let's call this Merkle underscore tree underscore example dot soul. At the top, we're going to specify the version. Now let's go to Open Zeppelin Contracts under Cryptography and import the Smarkle proof inside of our smart contract. Let's now create a new smart contract called Merkle Tree Example. Inside, we're going to have some properties. The first property is going to be our Merkle root, which was computed from the JavaScript file. Then we're going to have a mapping of all the whitelist addresses that were claimed. Then we'll define the whitelist mint function. We're going to pass in a Merkle proof, and then we'll be able to tell if the message sender is on the whitelist or not. First, we need to make sure that the address hasn't been claimed yet. We'll now create a leaf node using the message sender address. And then most importantly, we're going to call Merkle proof dot verify to see if the verification is correct or not. And now finally, we're going to update the whitelist claimed to true. Let's compile our smart contract. And then copy one of these addresses. And we're going to compute the Merkle tree inside of the JavaScript file. Also, don't forget to copy the Merkle root to the Solidity smart contract. At the bottom, we're going to copy this Merkle proof and paste it as a parameter to the whitelist mint function. It looks like we need to change the single quotes to double quotes for the function to work. There we go, we have successfully minted. We can open this up and read more information about it. Let's now try to mint with a different account that is not on the whitelist. As you can see, we're getting an error message saying that this is an invalid Merkle proof. Let's go back to the original address and try to mint again. Now it's going to say address is already claimed. That's going to do it for this tutorial. If you found this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and post any questions you have in the comment section. Have a nice day now.